Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Siobhan and today I'm going to be setting up my bullet journal for May. So, as usual, I'm going to do a flip through of April and kind of show you what, you di what I did before. Then I'll do a time lapse of setting up May and then come back and talk you through May. So I'll put timestamps for all of those down below in case you only want to watch the the time lapse or you only want to hear me talk about what I'm doing in May. So diving into April 1st, uh, you can see I did another one of my um, flower cover pages. Um, I've changed this up a bit for May because I wasn't really feeling inspired by the flowers anymore. Um, but basically for the last few months I've been having a bit of a theme of doing um, the birth flower for that month. So for April the birth flower is daisies, so I drew a load of daisies. Um, but the theme is more just for the cover page rather than an actual theme. It doesn't continue on through the monthly setup, which you'll see has changed in May. Um, so yeah, into April. Um, this was something that was a little bit new. Um, I decided to make my own um, list of prompts for a doodle challenge, but I didn't even finish it. There was one person on Instagram who did finish it and theirs turned out amazing. Um, but yeah, I think I got as far as number six or seven there. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I did a list of flowers, which I probably will go back and do them all eventually, but it just didn't happen in April because, yeah, like I said, I got down to about the 6th and the 6th was the day I started my new job and things kind of got a bit derailed, um, but I might come back to it. Um, similarly with um, my intentions, I didn't really come back to this page. As you'll see from this one, I was planning on doing Camp NaNoWriMo again. I lasted until about day four and then gave up. It was April was just a bad month for trying challenges like these. Um, but yeah, that was my intentions list. Um, monthly calendar, very basic. Like I said, the, the theme of the birth flowers doesn't really carry on through the month, which meant when I had pages like this with a lot of white space, I didn't know what to do with them. So I just left it blank. Um, and then we literally have my weekly setups for the rest of the month and they are all the same, this Dutch door setup, um, which you'll see has drastically, drastically changed in May. Um, yeah, so I had set this up to have the 7am till midnight time blocking, um, which it doesn't really suit what I need now. Um, so for this week, I was at home. Um, uh, obviously, people know what's going on in the world at the moment, but basically, Lockdown in England had started at the end of May and I hadn't started my new job until the 6th of April so this week I was just stuck at home doing absolutely nothing so I didn't really need to block out what time I was doing things at whereas before when I was working in retail I was using this to mark out shifts which was very helpful but I just don't need it now. Um, yeah and then I used the spare page at the end for more classic bullet journaling and listing of what I'm going to do. And you'll see that just carried on and this is what I'm saying. I don't really need time block when I'm doing the exact same shift every single day. So that was the same for that. Next week again, using the washi tape for work. And I wasn't even using this bullet journaling very often, but I'm not sure if that's just more because I was trying to adjust to a new job and working from home that most days I finished work and I was just exhausted and didn't want to do anything. Um, but yeah, you can see I really wasn't using it. Um, so I had decided for May to get rid of this time blocking and stop doing the Dutch door because I just don't have enough that I have to be keeping track of in terms of time blocking because I'm working the exact same shifts every day and then maybe doing like one event in the evening and then just fitting in other things whenever I have time. So, um, so yeah, you'll see may gets drastically changed and yeah so this is the last page of april again i didn't do that there's one more page of april i will show you i suppose now and give you a bit of a teaser for the may setup so this is the last page of april my failed attempt at camp nanorima as you can see i was trying to do a thousand words a day and i did it for four days and then just gave up entirely so that is April setup and you'll see some drastic changes in May. So this is my May theme. I'm going for a D&D Dungeons and Dragons dice theme. 
Um, so some of the theme is inspired by like this is my character sheet so I'm not showing you the rest of it but it's inspired by like the shape of the blocks and stuff from D&D character sheets and the rest of it is just basically using um, a set of D&D dice and decorating with them. So yeah um, I'm gonna get into the time lapse now and show you setting up me and then I'll come back and talk you through why I set it up like this. Okay, so I'm going to do a flip through of May and just kind of talk you through the changes I've made because as you'll have seen there are some pretty drastic changes. Um, so I wanted to go back to more the old style of bullet journaling I used to do and to, I, I suppose it's more the popular form of bullet journal in terms of decoration anyway, where you pick a theme and carry it through the month. So I wanted to do that and I've been drawing a lot of D, D themed stuff so I thought I would do a DD &D theme. So as you can see on my cover page I just drew a big D20 with some banners and a, the rest of the set of D, &D dice and um, smaller around it. Um, I was debating colouring it in but I think I'll leave it like that. Um, then my monthly spread. Um, you will notice bits of this have already been um, filled in a little bit actually because let me finish filling this in. There we go. Um, because I'm currently filming this part of this video um, on the morning of May 2nd. So I'm a little bit behind on getting this video out there, but I still want to upload it and share it. But anyway, 
you'll notice little bits filled out <laughs> that's what I'm saying um so yeah this is my monthly spread and I wanted to do kind of the um the themed boxes and stuff so this is again taken from character sheets in D&D this is the style of the like title banner up at the top and then I just have a full set of dice down here and these I actually made as stickers um uh, You'll have seen me using these. Um, these are actually drawings that I did on my iPad and just printed them out and cut them with my Cricut. So that's what those are from. Like I said, I've been drawing a lot of dice, so I figured I'd turn them into stickers. Um, and I just kind of put in little elements, so like curving off the corners to make it look more D&D &D themed. And you'll see over here, I have my habit tracker that I'm filling out like this. So my issue with habit trackers is um, Sometimes I forget about them for a few days and then when I go back, I can't tell whether it's not coloured in because I didn't do it or because I didn't remember to fill it in. So what I'm doing is a full filled in box for things that I have done that day, or a dot, not a box, um, a filled in dot for ones I've done. Um, I'll just do an empty dot for ones that I didn't do that day and then I can tell where the line has nothing on it, it's just I haven't tracked it. So hopefully that will work. Um, and the next page, um, I changed up the layout of my intentions list again. It's the same thing I do every month, just things that I intend to do in these areas. It's not necessarily a to-do list. It's kind of more what I hope to do rather than things I have to do, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I wanted to separate out the various things in terms of boxes and you'll notice I have two for the polis now. Um, one is going to be things I want to make for the shop and the other is content, so things for YouTube here and for the blog because I've started to write a few more uh, blog posts and I suppose I, sh I should put Instagram on there as well. Um, but yeah, and then I'm attempting to do mood tracking. So again, these are those stickers I made, which is why I made them into stickers rather than hand drawing them because hand drawing 31 dice would have taken quite a while. Um, but I'm basically just going to colour in each of the ones and I've put the little colours here so these are like your stats on the character sheets um, and I'm just going to track how I'm feeling basically so I have happy, um, emotional but in a happy way, uh, meh, emotional in a sad way and numb and I've chosen these because obviously we are in lockdown at the moment and these are kind of the main things that I have been feeling so some days I will be very emotional and depressed and then in other days I'll get emotional say like a friend sent me a birthday card and I started crying because it was so sweet which for me is not a normal reaction so that would be emotional rather than just happy so that's why I've chosen these things and hopefully that can kind of help me track more how I'm feeling during all of this and then my weekly spread so this is the most drastic change in terms of a spread I was doing before because um, I haven't done mood tracking or habit tracking in a very long time anyway whereas weekly spreads I do all the time but it just really needed a change so you'll notice I got rid of all of the all of the um, time blocking because like I said I don't need it I work the same shifts every day Monday to Friday so it's pointless but also while I'm working at home I'm finding I need more things in terms of meals because um, I'm trying to stop using my bit of daily exercise to go to the shop and buy stuff so I want to more track out meals I can have based on what I already have in the house because there's quite a lot of food in the house at the moment so um yeah I've basically done um just a block for each day with some of the circles for to-do lists and then these little blocks along the side are for breakfast lunch a snack and dinner and I'm just going to kind of either write it in on the day what I have or write it ahead of time and kind of plan out what I'll be having each day but yeah so I've kind of simplified it all and just gone back to basic checklist and to-do list for things I'm gonna do for each day um I will probably do this spread for every week but I haven't at the moment as you can see I just have all the blank paper um because I haven't tried this spread out so um I need to see if it suits what I what I want and what I'm doing. Um, I'm not going to be putting in any like work to do's because I have another notebook that I use as kind of a work planner and those daily to do lists get way too long to fit in here so this will just be what I want to do outside of work so it will depend on how productive I'm being but you'll see that in my June bullet journal setup. 
But yeah, so that is what I have done for May in my bullet journal. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this setup and I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye!